The United Nations has rubbished claims, by F.W. de Klerk, that apartheid was not a crime against humanity. This comes after de Klerk, the last apartheid era president of South Africa, said in an interview with the SBC last week, that he did not fully agree with the ruling of the United Nations, that apartheid was a crime against humanity. The United Nations unequivocally confirmed, that apartheid was a well-established crime against humanity, because it meets two key elements of being both widespread, and systematic. De Clark served as Deputy President, when Nelson Mandela was the President of South Africa in 1994. Reacting to the remarks of De Clark, the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, Selo Hadan, said it is time, that Parliament looked at ways to enact what it calls a hate law. During the SONA on Thursday 13 February 2020, the economic freedom fighters disrupted the sitting, calling for de Clark to leave the National Assembly. The EFF leader, Julius Malema, said former president has no remorse for the atrocities committed under apartheid, and therefore does not deserve to be a guest of a democratic parliament. Meanwhile, the South African Human Rights Commission also weighed in, saying that it would be difficult to charge de Clark over his utterances. The CEO of the commission, Tsiliso Tipanyani, says, since 1994, we have said, let's us move from the past to the future, and also remember, the RNC itself took a number of national party members. Mr. Martinus Fans Chalkvite became a minister in the new South Africa, so we can't focus on one person, and not focus on others. There are a number of people who were in the previous apartheid government, and they became officials in the new South Africa. Please check in the description box below for the links to the sources of this report. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.